I have chosen to create my documentary on the use of cannabis in the ancient cultures of China, Egypt, and Greece. The story of cannabis is weaved throughout the history of ancient cultures, from the large landscape of China to the iconic sands of Egypt and the great thinkers of Greece, the cannabis plant goes deeper into these cultures than most modern perceptions. Join this journey as I go back in time and explore the ideas of cannabis within the cultures of ancient China, Egypt, and Greece. We will learn about how these civilizations use cannabis for many different purposes, such as religion, rituals, spiritual, healing, and remedies. Let's begin our expedition into the history of the extraordinary plant cannabis. In China, there is a term called Wu, meaning shaman. There are several meanings of Wu that can be found in oracle bones and inscriptions. The main definitions of shamanism are it is rooted in healing, ethogens act as medicine, and the altered states of consciousness. Ancient people saw disease and illness as stemming from the medical physical realm, which is why it is important to note that entheogens and hallucinogens were seen as a way for shamans to heal people. One hallucinogen that shamans would use is cannabis. The shamans would use cannabis to enter the altered states of consciousness of persons in order to help heal them. Discovering physical proof of cannabis in ancient cultures can be difficult. A lab-based fiber identification is rare and leads to artifacts being labeled as hemp due to ancient Chinese wording. There are not always concrete facts, but there is reasoning and context clues that can help us explore the use of cannabis in the culture. One of those reasonings is the ancient primary source text, Divine Farmer's Classic of Mat Materia Medica. In this text, there are descriptions of herbs and how ancient China uses those herbs for their medicinal value. One of those herbs is ma, which is often translated to hemp and can also be considered cannabis. Another context clue that helps drive the proof of cannabis in ancient China is an ancient artifact, Pamir Brazier. It was found high up in the Pamir Mountains in western China. This artifact is an incense burner that was used to burn cannabis. It is from 500 BC and provides evidence for being the oldest artifact in which cannabis was burned for its mind-altering properties. This artifact is very valuable because it shows physical proof of cannabis use being used in rituals. Let's take a turn now and travel to a place with iconic sands, ancient Egypt. In ancient Egypt, cannabis was not just a plant. It was a part of life and rituals that played a significant role in culture and history. The review of cannabis use in ancient Egypt serves as an archetype. There have been clues to the potential treatments of a wide array of medical syndromes using cannabis in ancient Egypt. The first clue that shows the use of cannabis as medicine to treat is the Ebers Papyrus. The Ebers Papyrus is an ancient scroll that is 20,023 meters in length and has 108 columns of text. The papyrus was probably owned by a, by a physician, but was first published by George Ebers in 1875. It describes the medicinal use of cannabis by physicians. It documents how they practiced medicine and what they used, such as cannabis. It describes the diseases in detail, how they were diagnosed, and the kinds of remedies that were used to treat such diseases, one remedy being cannabis. Another supporting fact to the use of cannabis in ancient Egypt is the mummy of Ramesses II. Ramesses II was buried in a tomb in the Valley of the Kings and then moved to the royal cache where it was discovered by archaeologists. The mummy of Ramesses II is from the year 2013 BC and was discovered in 1881 by Swiss traveler Johann Ludwig Burckhardt. Ramesses II was discovered with traces of cannabis on his mummy body in his tomb. From this ancient artifact, we can prove that cannabis used in this ancient culture from the cannabis pollen that was found on the mummy. Continuing our journey, we now embark to ancient Greece, where the majestic columns represent the birthplace of philosophy and democracy. In the ruins, we can discover and analyze the rich civilization. There is a frequent assertion that not only was the cannabis plant known, but was also used for its hallucinogenic properties in ancient Greece. An ancient primary text that, we, that can help support this argument is the Histories of Herodotus. The Histories of Herodotus was written in 430 BC by Herodotus. He was a worldwide traveler 
that conducted interviews and collected stories for his book. One of the stories was from a journey he took. He writes about a plant called cannabis. In this story, he describes people who would throw cannabis seeds onto hot stones inside a small tent. The fumes produced from inside the small tent could then be inhaled. Inhaling these fumes is similar to the way cannabis was used back then, so it holds evidence that makes people believe cannabis is cannabis. A primary source artifact is the Vienna Dioscorides. This artifact is a Greek illuminated manuscript of pictures and animals from the year 512 AD. One of the plants pictured is the plant Cannabis sativa. This artifact helps provide evidence that the Greeks knew what the, what the cannabis plant was because they kept detailed artifacts to keep track of plants. I hope you enjoyed joining me on this journey where we have talked about cannabis in the ancient cultures of China, Egypt, and Greece.